What's up everyone? It's your trainer Sydney Howdeshell and this is your 40 minute Blitzen bench upper body workout. So grab your bench if you have one and some dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to your upper body bench workout. I'm so excited to get into this workout with you today. We are gonna be using the bench and some dumbbells, but if you don't have a bench, totally fine to do everything on the floor or standing. Some things that I'll use the bench for will be a hand supported bent row, a seated shoulder press, chest press, so things like that where you can also just do them standing or on the mat, okay? We're gonna be working for 40 seconds today, resting for 20. I'm gonna be doing three rounds of every exercise and we're gonna be doing things like tricep kickbacks and rear delt flies where you're gonna use somewhere around your 50% of your max weights all the way up to a shoulder press, tricep overhead extension, which will be the heavier weights for you, okay? So grab those weights, let's get started. Your water and your sweat towel is ready. And if you're ready for the warm up, big cross over your chest. Two, one, let's go. Just the left arm. Two more, and then we go just the right arm. Here we go. Two, and one, good job. Hands go right past your body and up overhead. Great work. Take your time on the warm ups. We're moving in a way that we will in the workout, so make sure it's not just stiff and not something that you're paying attention to. Really move well. Good. Hinge your hips back just a little bit. Let's cross your arms over again. Exaggerate the cross. Three, two, one. Good. Hands together right at your chest. Push them up and then bend and straighten. There you go, really reach for three, two, one. Good job, and let's walk it out. Hinge forward, plank position. Good job, shoulder taps. Keep your core tight, keep your hands right under your shoulders. Three, two, and tight body lower down just like you're in a push up. Good job, belly to the floor, press up. And lower back down, one more, exhale, press up. Good, come into a tabletop position. Take your arms one at a time, reach under and twist. Two more. Great job, walk it back in. Elbows go out to the side, chest to the floor. Big stretch here. Good, come on up. All right, very first circuit. You've got a bent row with your left arm, tricep skull crusher, bent row with your right arm, okay? So I'm gonna just support myself here. All right, we're gonna start with the right arm row first. 40 seconds of work here. Round number one of three. Let me swing it right here. Let's go. Two, one. All right, right side. If you don't have a bench, you're just supporting yourself right here with your hand. Or grab onto something that's near you. Good, keep your chest a little bit open. Two, one, and rest. Good, your next move, skull crusher. You're gonna lay it down on the bench. All right, here we go in six seconds. 
You're gonna bend and straighten, keeping a little slant back here. Let's go. Halfway, good job. Four, three, good. Two, one, and rest. And you're gonna come up and row with your left arm, okay? Feel free to put your hand and your knee on the bench if that feels good to you, okay? Or you can just have your hand on the bench. All right, let's go. Four, three, two, one, big pull. Good, 15 seconds. Make sure you're pulling back, not up towards your ear. Two, one, all right, great job. We're back to the top. Two more rounds of that circuit. We're gonna work for 45 seconds this time. So add one more rep. Stay with the same weight or go a little heavier if you're ready for it. Here we go, five, right arm row, let's go. Two, one, rest. Good. All right, tricep overhead extension. I cut you off a couple seconds early. My mistake. We're going 45 seconds, so hopefully you did that one extra rep in there. All right, skull crushers, 45 seconds. Not 40. Three, two, one, let's go. And I'm going 45 this round just because you know what's coming. Okay, you know how to move into the next move, what weights you wanna choose. So just enough time to get into position. Fifteen seconds, come on. And rest. All right, single arm row with the left arm. Ready? Let's go. Fifteen. Three, two, rest. Good job. One last time through. We're gonna work for 50 seconds this time. Okay? 
So stick with the same weight, a little lighter if you need to because it's round three. We're working a little bit longer. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice work. Last 20 seconds, come on. Crank it out and then get right into position for your triceps. Seven. One more, three, two, good. Tricep overhead extension, right into it. We go in six, five, two, one, come on. Push, 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 come on. 15. Six. And rest. Good job. Left arm rose to close it out. Three, two, one, and we're off. Let's go. Nice work, 20 seconds. Big pull, three more big pulls. Let's go, four. Last one, and breathe. Great job, shake your arms out, grab water. We're moving into chest press, bicep curl left bicep curl right. With the bicep curl, you're gonna have the quote unquote bro curls, tricep supported right here. Okay, so chest press, curl left, curl right. We'll go in 10 more seconds. All right, chest press, four, three, two, Let's go. 40 seconds of work here, then we'll go 45, then we'll go 50. Last 10 seconds. Two, one, great job. 20 seconds to grab probably a lighter weight for a bicep curl, supported. All right, let's start with our left arm. Putting your tricep or your elbow right on the inside of your thigh and it's right here, okay? Three, two, Let's go. Great job. Remember, your elbow is against your leg so that you can't kind of bend to start that curl. 
You really gotta clamp this bicep shut like you're closing in on something in your elbow crease. Crushing an egg in your elbow crease. 10 seconds. Two, one, good, rest. All right, since you're already here, big deep breath, water break. Other arm, we go in seven. Three, two, all right, let's go. Try not to dive into it too much with your shoulder. Try to keep that neutral. Good, 10 more seconds. We'll start back at the top with chest press, everything for 45 seconds. Rest, great job. All right, can you go heavier in your chest press? All right, down and ready, we go in five. Two, one, 45 seconds, let's go. Good job, give me 10 more good seconds. Two, one, good. Oh, okay, back to the curls. Starting off with our left arm first. We go in five. Shake him out whenever you need to. Two, one, come on. Fifteen. Seven. And rest, good. Fifteen seconds, other side. We'll hit all three one more time. Whew. And then we'll go into some supersets after round number three. All right. Right arm, two, one. Come on, leave it all right here. Try to stay mentally focused. I know sometimes upper body workouts are hard to focus, but stay here, okay? We're building something right now that's gonna set the foundation for all of your results. Okay, upper body strength carries over into everything we do. Not just arms, but especially if you wanna feel a little bit more strong or toned in your arms, we just kinda of do the big moves consistently like we're doing here today. Five, two, one. All right, chest press, round three. Show me what you got right here. Up the tempo, so get a little bit more reps in, a little less rest time. We'll go a little heavier. Here we go. Three, 50 seconds of work. Two, one, go.
13. Three, two, one. Drop it down and right up into your bicep curls. We go in seven. Left arm, come on. Three, two, let's go. Great job, we'll finish this one out. 10 seconds, roll it right over to the other arm. You've got 20 seconds left here. And then we'll go with some shoulder work. Ah, good work, 14. Come on, pull, 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 eight, seven. Let's go one more together, ready? Three, two, one. Whew. All right. Great job if you're at that point of muscle fatigue, muscle failure. Last side, three, two, come on, big pull. Keep breathing. You're doing awesome. Last 20 right here. Crank it out. Big pull. Six, five. One more together. Three, two, and rest. Oh. Great job. Okay, grab some water. We're gonna go shoulder press and rear delt fly. Rear delt fly, you're gonna be hitting the back of the shoulder. You'll feel this a little bit in your back as well as the back of the shoulder, but you wanna think about if I were to give you something right here in the front and you were just to pull it straight across your chest, okay? Opening backwards and not up, okay? Shoulders don't come up, they go back. I want you to think about pinching your shoulder blades together behind you, driving your pinkies back. Okay, keep a flat hand, back pinkies. Now, seated shoulder press will be right here. Okay, and if you have the bench where you can scoot forward, your rear delt flies are gonna tap under your legs and fly back here. If not, you're just standing, okay? So let's go in 15 seconds with your shoulder press. Six, five, two, one, let's go. Nice work. Make sure when you get tired, you're not shrugging. <sighs> Two, one, and rest. Good job. 20 seconds rest and you're gonna go to your lightest weights. I would rather you start lighter than you think you need to. Feel that connection and then go up if that feels okay. All right. So I'm tapping here, fly back. Two, one, let's go. Just thinking about my shoulder blades. They're reaching for each other. I'm not hum coming up here. Good, flat hands, and if that feels okay, you go up in round two. Wait a lifetime and 
Four. Two. One. Good. All right. 45 second round. Whew. Shorter press, go heavier if you can. All right, here we go. Four, three, two, and we're off. Nice work. It's okay if your chest is kind of open a little bit broad. That's fine. Just make sure you're not collapsing at the bottom. So you're not coming down here and letting your shoulders totally relax. Keep a little tension, punch right back up. You got 10 more seconds. Last one, two, one, good. 15 to rest. Rear delt flies. Whew. All right, should feel it in this muscle right here, right in the back. Three, two, let's go. Lead back with the pinky. Fifteen. Last one, two, and rest. We're already at round three of the superset. If you can go heavier, I want you to try that. I'll go with you. All right, our 50 second round. Three, two, one, let's go. Breathe, last 20, come on. One more. Rest, good job. Take it right into rear delt flies. We go in five. Two, one, let's go. Lead back with the pinky. Good, hook your elbows back. 20. Bring the baseline back around here. 10. Two, one, and rest. Great job, shoulder set. Oh, grab some water, you're doing amazing. We're gonna keep on rocking with a body weight trio, and then we'll finish off with some triceps and biceps. All right, dumbbells out of the way for this one. Push-ups, dips, and Superman pullbacks, okay? Push-ups, you have two different options here. I want you to use the bench. I want you to either go incline, making it a bit easier, so hands on the bench, or decline, toes on the bench, hands on the ground, still in a plank position, 
that's the most advanced option, okay? If you're doing, if you're somewhere in between those, choose the incline and choose less rest, okay? Let's go there in nine seconds. And if you need to dial that back even more, on your knees at an incline, okay? Let's go, three, two, one, 40 seconds of work, come on. Focus on range of motion too. Can you tap your chest on the bench? Good, keep that tight core, tight glutes. You got 12. Five, two, one, rest. Turn it around for tricep dips. Now, if you wanna turn this one up a little bit more, you can take your feet on top of some dumbbells as you do your dips, okay? Or you could take them straight out, medium, or you could advance, or you could step it back just a little bit more and go bent leg, okay? Three, two, let's go. Great job. Fifteen. Three. Two, one, now we're going Superman style, okay? If you don't have a bench, you're gonna lay flat on your stomach. All right, chest is up off the ground. You're gonna pull back here, okay? If you wanna add a little intensity to that, add some dumbbells, take it up, pull back, and then back down. Ready? Let's go. I've got my chest hanging up off the edge of the bench so I can make sure my back is working the whole time to keep my chest up. Good, and as I pull back, I'm still flexing my shoulder blades together, okay? Or pulling them together. Three, two, rest, good job. And we're back to push-ups. 45 seconds. Three, two, one, let's get it. Blow out your mouth like you're blowing out of a straw. Keep your core wrapped and tight. Drop to your knees if you need to, but keep that plank position. You got 10. Five. Two, one. Whew, dips, taking it back. And if you can't get the hang of dips or if your wrists are bothering you, tricep kickbacks, okay? Here we go. And we're off, let's rock. Come on, keep moving, you're here, we're moving together. Nine, eight. 
Three, two, one, rest. Good job. 15 seconds rest. If you wanna try to incorporate the dumbbells with that Superman, go ahead and try it. Maybe it's just for a couple reps. Two, one, let's go. Five, two, one, rest, and we're going for our 50 second round. Let's go. Three, two, come on, you're strong, you got this. Two, one. Nine, eight, three, two, uh, rest. Tricep dips, we go in seven. Come on, we got this. Here we go, two, one, let's rock. Remember that your body is going straight down in front of the bench, not forward. So make sure your arms aren't straighter at the bottom of your dip, they should be 90 degrees right back up. A lot of times this is a shorter range of motion than we think. Okay, we think we should be all the way to the ground and back up, elbows at 90, and then back up. Good job, last half. Six, five, two, one, good. Superman on the bench or on the ground with a dumbbell or without. Let's go. Three, two, one, come on, big pulls. Fifteen. Good job. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful job. You've got fifteen tricep kickbacks and fifteen bicep curls, and we're done. Okay. Go with a weight that challenges you. I'm going with my tens. Fifteen and fifteen to get out of here, and you've made it. Ready? Go ahead. Challenging weight. Good, and if you can, kind of a modification of a preacher curl, you can come right here for your curls.
Good, 15 and 15 and you're finished. Great job. When you are done with your 15-15 buyout, you have made it to your cool down. I want you to stay standing. Let's start with just opening up the forearms and the wrist. Amazing job today. Whew. Pure strength work, right? I wanted to make sure this workout was in this program because I know there's nothing better than a good solid upper body workout. And sometimes those are the ones that we struggle with the most, right? The ones that don't have a ton of variety, the ones that are not tons of different uh, themes or modifications, but just pure, put in the work, show up, don't stop, go as hard as you can, and then finish. So training you is making sure that you're great at both of those styles of workouts. The styles that are fun, that you're good at, that you enjoy, and the styles that challenge you physically and mentally, because that's life. Mentally and physically, you're gonna show up and sometimes it'll be tougher on one or the other. Sometimes both of them will be tough. Take your arms up overhead. Sometimes you'll enjoy the entire ride. Okay, show up on all those types of days. Do your best on all those types of days. When it seems easy, when you're glad to be there, you're rested, you're motivated, you're caffeinated. And on the days where it seems everything's going wrong, you don't feel like it, you're not in the mood, you'd rather do other things, all of those. At the end of the day, you wanna make sure that what you're doing is benefiting you. And I know without a doubt this workout benefited you today. Okay, we got your heart rate up, we got your muscles getting some blood to them. We're challenging ourselves to step up to the plate and overcome adversity, overcome resistance. <sighs> Hands behind your back, open your chest up. And release, grab onto your elbows, fold forward, and just let your back round here for a minute. and release. Great job. Right after this, I want you to find a doorway. Put your hands on the back side of the doorway. Step through to really open up your chest. And then I want you to step back. Take your hands up overhead to the top of the doorway. Step through to really open up your triceps and your lats. Okay, using your doorways like that will really get you a good stretch, no matter where you are in your flexibility, okay? Great work today. Truly, way to step up to the plate and just grind it out, put in the work and finish strong. I'm very proud of you. Let me know which circuit or superset you thought was the toughest today. That'll help me program these programs in the future to focus a little more on the things that maybe we're struggling with, focus on things that we enjoy. It just helps me be the best trainer that I can be for you, knowing what you need. Whether it's your favorite thing or the thing that you struggle with the most, we're gonna embrace it all, okay? Do that in your day today as well. Get the tough things out of the way, rock forward. As soon as those are out of the way, you get to move on to the things that you enjoy, whatever that may be. I'm so proud of you. Comment below what your favorite circuit was, subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up and I will see you for our next workout. Bye everyone.